Welcome everyone to this tutorial on doing custom textures for Pikmin 2. Uh, this will also work for any other other emulate, emulated games uh, in Dolphin. So you can do this for like Wind Waker or Pikmin 1 or uh, any of the other games that you have emulated. So there's three steps to doing this. Uh, the first one is to dump the textures from Dolphin. And then the second is to edit the pictures and move them to the import uh, directory that uh, Dolphin is looking for. And then that's what will import them. Uh, so if you followed our introduction tutorial, uh, we saved the Dolphin emulator under Dolphin-X64. And that's the only tool that you'll need for this particular um, tutorials. You just need Dolphin and you'll need a paint program to change that. So one of the first things to, to know is Dolphin uses a uh, six letter number combination for the game ID. Uh, it will be used multiple places in this process. Uh, so to get the game ID, you just click on the game that you want to change the textures for. You right click, you click properties, and then it will give you it at the top on like the, the banner. So in the case of Pikmin 2, it's GPV E01 for the US version. So to dump the textures, we're going to have to change uh, one of the settings in Dolphin, uh, which is under graphics. And then under the advanced tab, in the utility section, there's the option dump textures. And if you read the description at the bottom of the box, it says it will put them in your user directory, uh, which is like your, your documents, dump uh, textures and the game ID, which is that GPVE01. Uh, Oh, and, and the user directory is your documents dolphin emulator folder. Um, so we're going to check that box. And that will start dumping the textures the next time that we run the game. So let's go into Pikmin 2. And I'll just pick one of my save games for where I completed the game. We'll go into Perplexing Pool because it has some pretty many enemies. And as we're running the game, it's dumping the textures that it has to load. So we will begin. Go to that save game. We'll go up to the flexing pool. That has a Can you texture the enemies? You can also texture uh, the backgrounds, texture um, the treasures. Um, so there's you know, ball bears, and that should be enough to get some textures. So we will get out of the game, and then we will see where those textures were dumped. Uh, like I said. Dolphin likes to put them under documents and then Dolphin emulator. And that's where all the settings and everything that uh, Dolphin loads is stored. So if you take screenshots or, uh, you know, like the, the GameCube uh, memory card is stored in there as well. Um, but for the textures that we just dumped, it's stored under the Dolphin emulator dump. And then textures. And then there's that game ID again, the GPVE01. And there we can see a lot of the textures. 
and just to make sure that you can tell what the textures are I suggest doing a view and do it as either large icons or extra large icons um, so there is the I believe that's the dwarf ball bear um, so let's just change that texture quick zoom in I like to use paint.net because it's free and easy. And I will make him a neon borb. And actually, before I change it, I should have done something else, which is put it in the import directory. So Dolphin will import the textures from a different folder that's under the Dolphin emulator. And it's under load and then textures and then it's looking for that game ID folder uh, if this is the first time that you're editing the textures you will have to create the folder and it has to be the name of the uh, the game ID so in the case of Pikmin 2 it's GPV E01 So we'll drag that one over and let's see what else should we do a texture of um, let's do the bridge I haven't done the bridge before and the yellow wallet log because those are pretty easy so I'm just going to do some quick changes just so that you guys can see that it will take effect um, so I'm just going to change him into their how it like pink and purplish I'll save whoops I think I accidentally hit cancel adjustments okay save and let's change the bridge I, I haven't changed bridges before so I don't know what that will look like um, same thing I'm just going to change you know, the color palette will make it like a blue bridge. I've seen that there was multiple bridge textures, so uh, you can play around with it and see what it is. So we have those under the import directory, load, textures, and then the game ID. And then there's one other thing that we need to do to import. Is we need to go back into the graphics setting under advance in the utility and we're going to load the custom textures and then there's also an option available now to prefetch custom textures and that just means that Dolphin will load those textures as soon as you start the game uh, I usually do that on my PC because I guess the hard drive slow but it will sometimes it stutters um, when it's loading uh, massive amounts of custom textures so once that's set we verify the textures are in the import directory they should show up so let's see and you see at the top left shows that loaded the custom textures go back in the same save game and go back in the flexible pool because that's where the enemies were that we changed Look, what the cat is. See, it's a new color. Now let's go check 
out the bridges. Yep, oh, it's another bridge. It's the blue colors. Alright, so it's getting in my way. And the neon boards. So that's the easiest way to do textures. Next, I'll talk about uh, another way where you can download textures and edit from there. So the second option for custom textures is you can download texture packs from uh, the internet. I've had trouble in finding a lot of good packs uh, as far as ones that are easy to download at like a reputable site. Um, I'm not even sure where I found my Pikmin 2 Ultra HD texture pack, um, but they come in as a zip file. So here's an example of one Pikmin 2 HD texture pack. And in the zip file, it just has the first three letters of the um, game ID and then it has subcategories as far as enemies, characters, and things like that. The challenge with this particular pack is that um, in order to conserve space for the high definition textures, they are saved in a format called DDS. And most of the, at least the free paint programs, do not appear to be able to open all of them. So when you get this texture pack, you know, let's say you download it, uh, I'm going to put a link in the uh, description so you can download the Ultra HD textures. Is that you need to copy those into that same folder. The load, the textures, the GPV, E01. And it's a very large set of files. So it may take some time. I think it's, it's almost two gigabytes just in the compressed form of the textures. There it is. Okay. So they're all copied over. But if we look, some of them are not able to open and some of them are. And that's the, the challenge with if you want to make your own custom textures from the HD pack. Uh, I can tell you, playing the game with the HD texture pack makes it much, much more interesting. Um, but that's it for the custom textures. Uh, like I said, pretty much any of the GameCube games, you can do uh, the same process to do your own custom textures. And if you, you know, search out on the internet, a lot of times there's HD textures for at least the more popular games, you know, like Mario Sunshine or um, the Zelda games. And that is it. So have fun making your own custom textures and have a good day.